Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Cancer. All right, Cancer. Okay, so for some of you guys, what I'm seeing here is that there is, um, you may be experiencing like a specific situation that often comes up when it comes to your love and when it comes to romance. Uh, this could be either dealing with kind of people that have codependency issues or you yourself often find yourself being gravitated towards people that are very independent. They have this need for freedom. Now, this could represent two different things. One could be that you tend to be pulled towards people that are very emotionally closed off, or uh, you have a codependency or a need, uh, not a need, sorry, that you're being pulled towards people that have a tendency to have issues when it comes to uh, trust issues more than anything. Uh, so what they're saying here is there is let your friends help you in this situation. Ask for help. Ask for um, and accept support from your friends. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, the majority of you have had some type of, like I said, issues in regards to being attracted to people that are uh, either emotionally closed off or that they have a lot of insecurity issues, or this could be you, Cancer, coming in uh, to this energy of trusting issues, things that perhaps in the past you felt like they let you down, or you can't really trust people because you've been hurt so much in the past. Um, but what they're saying here is that there is a need for you to be optimistic about your love life. Oftentimes people, you know, have a tendency of saying, you know, yes, I'm ready for love, but deep down inside, there is fears. There's fears of either getting hurt. There's fears of what if this doesn't work out? It's just a waste of time. So it's about understanding the type of energy that you're putting out. It's like think of yourself as a radio station. And the way you talk to yourself or the way you think is sending out signals. So if there's a desire to bring a long-term relationship to your life, but you're also the next day putting out signals that you are unsure if you're even worthy or if you deserve to be loved or if you're so difficult to be loved thinking very neg negatively you're sending out two different signals so when we send out multiple signals and it is quite the opposite one of the other we have a tendency of pulling towards us people that could be as confused as you people that you know, come on to you very strongly and then all of a sudden you don't know why they pull away or why they ghost you. And the reason for that is because they themselves are unsure of what it is that they want. So you have to be very mindful about that cancer. Now, for some of you guys, uh, you could have rushed into a relationship or some type of partnership as I do have engagement here. Uh, for some of you guys, this could represent at some point in time in your relationship um, in your past relationship, there was some type of engagement or some type of co commitment and it didn't come through and you're at a place right now where when things are going good, you start to fear that the most minimal thing, as an example, if they text you or if they call you and they accidentally, uh, or they forget to say bye because they're so busy and they just hang up, you start to panic. You overthink and overanalyze what's going on the moment you feel that there's changes happening and that could be trigger points of why people pull away from you it could be just the energy that you're evoking that a fear of either being left or the fear of being alone you know some of us you know don't understand that when we fear being alone and you think about this so often that's exactly what your echo or sorry that's exactly what the universe is echoing back to you so then they pull away or bring to you people that are going to 
oftentimes walk away or, or not let the relationship progress. Why? Because, like I said, they're as confused as you are. So you have to be careful of the way you talk to yourself, Cancer. Um, this definitely can change. Keep that in mind. Uh, with the tarot, we can always change the outcome, but it has to do with the inner work that we do for ourselves. Getting to know each other usually signifies to me the need to take things slow. So try the best you can when opportunities start to come in regards to love and romance. Take your time in getting to know someone. Don't rush into things because when you rush into a serious relationship with the person that is not even sure if they want a relationship at some point in time, it's going to be like it, the relationship is going to take a halt. And then you're left feeling like I was right for thinking this way because in the past the same thing happened. So we got to change that energy in order to change the outcome. Now I'm going to be pulling out two cards and these are the energies that are currently influencing or affecting you. And we have your card cancer. We have the cancer card here. Uh, this is talking about feeling feeling sympathetic, um, comforting, nostalgic, protective, intuitive, uh, birthing, tender, nocturnal, uh, caring, moody, receptive. These are all the energies of that of cancer. And sometimes when our card comes out, it usually indicates that you there is a lot of something in your sign that you tend to overdo when it comes to relationships for some of you guys it could be that you care too much or that you try to nurture a partner as if he was your child or like if she was your child and that's not the way to go about it when it comes to relationships either yes relationships take time and effort but you need to understand that you cannot be a provider. You cannot be the one to overdo because you feel like you have to recompensate uh, something that you feel in you is lacking. So what they're saying is work on self-love cancer. You also have sextile opportunity. This is talking about being, ass um, being assisted, being assisted by uh, the universe, by spirit, uh, creating possibilities for you and opening doors for you. But it starts from within cancer so it's about loving yourself it's about knowing that a person that comes into your life is not some or the way you know you care or love for someone is not that you uh, that you want them in your life or that you need them but that they make you happy um, a person should not you know come into your life and make it more difficult they should you know uh, bring to you some type of stability some type of growth in a relationship that's what partnerships is all about and if it's you often the one that's caring or nurturing that person then you're not allowing them to grow as well so this is something to really think about cancer all right i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll talk uh, talk or see each other soon bye